Combustible cladding has become a global problem that has made its way past the facade design community, building owners, and even building authorities. This is due to the lack of understanding or review of fire test documentation provided by the cladding manufacturers or substitution of products during the construction phase. The net effect is that the use of these clad panels appear on the surface to be fire resistive when in actuality they are highly combustible when exposed to fire. Real estate developers, building owners, or even government agencies don't know whether or not they're exposed to a risk. And if they find out, what do they do with combustible cladding if they have it? Do they keep it, replace it, or do they come up with some mitigation solution? You cannot rely on the design specifications or design drawings because that may just say provide a non-combustible wall. And that may not have been actually what was installed in the field. Jensen Hughes helps our clients, one, identify if they have combustible cladding, and two, provide them with solutions to mitigate or control risks associated with these materials. First, we have to review the manufacturer's fire test data. If you can't find these, then second, you're going to have to do some destructive testing using a combination of small-scale and large-scale laboratory tests so that we can determine the appropriate remediation methods or risk analysis. Jensen Hughes engineers were involved in the early development of these tests and standards that are referenced in current building codes throughout the world. Jensen Hughes has a deep roster of experts in facade testing and analysis, and you can approach Jensen Hughes with questions or concerns regarding your buildings.